this is Katie. In today's video, I'm wearing pigtails. <sighs> is anyone else doing like the most random stuff with their hair right now? Cause uh, this is the mood I'm in. But anyway, today I'm going to be doing my new apartment tour. So as most of you guys know, I moved into a new unit in the same apartment complex, but a new unit about two weeks ago. And uh, it's a much bigger unit. And I just wanted to give you guys a little tour of where I'm gonna be living the next few months. But I wanted to do this tour a little bit differently. I feel like there are tons of apartment tours and house tours online that show the most spick and span, the tidiest, the cleanest apartments. Uh, that everything has a place and everything is put away and everything is proper and everything is fancy. And I wanted to show you guys more of like a realistic apartment tour today. More of like a, oh look, someone lives here. This is normal. This is how life works kind of apartment tour. And so there's gonna be stuff out. There's a box not unpacked over there somewhere. Uh, I just wanna do a realistic apartment tour for you guys. So hopefully you guys can relate to me a little bit about how your apartment just kind of looks on a day-to-day -day basis. But anyway, all right, let's just get started. So there's my front door, okay? Um, so I'm gonna just like flip you guys around. So if you walk in my front door, it looks like this. Pretty, pretty, pretty. This is a beautiful one bedroom. I was in a studio prior uh, for the last five months. I'm in Charleston, by the way, South Carolina. Uh, and I was in a studio, but I had to move. If you did not see that video, if you don't know why, please go watch. I guess it's like two videos ago or so, my moving video, uh, I explained why I had to move. But anyway, ended up getting a one bedroom, so it's bigger. So right when you walk in the front door, there's like this little nook over here that has the water heater. It has like a tiny little linen closet uh, with a bra hanging dry because my washer and dryer are right here. And honestly, what woman does not have a bra just hanging dry? That's just, the, again, real life. Okay, so then right past that is my desk. Um, it has a built-in desk, which is awesome. Uh, I have my YouTube plaque over there, my 100,000 subscriber plaque, which I love. It's one of my favorite things that I own, and I love all of you guys for helping me reach that goal of mine. Um, and also, it's kind of blocked by this giraffe because um, I don't think a lot of you guys know, but I can do balloon animals. <laughs> so I have some balloons. Don't worry. That will be in a new video in a couple weeks. Do not worry. We're making balloon animals. Um, I also, oh my gosh, I found these kind of recently. Do you guys remember these? These like bubble balloon plasticky things from like 20 years ago. I found these recently and oh my gosh, they are so much fun. Anyway, have that. Uh, I am obviously not the kind of person who needs a clean desk. There are definitely two types of people out there, people who need a clean desk and some people who don't need a clean desk. And I'm one of those like messy creative types. Okay, and then I just have some bags and this box that, you know, I just moved and I have not fully unpacked those yet. They're just, they're just there. I also have this pair of pants because I washed them but they were air dry. And so now they're just sitting here and then I just have not put them away yet. So. That's this little area. And then if we go over here, we have my kitchen, which this is pretty clean. Let's, let's be real here. This is pretty tidy, pretty organized. I am one of those people who keeps my pans on my stove. Please let me know in the comments if you're the same way. I do not see the point of putting them away when I use them all the time. And they're really, really pretty. Um, I mean they because the other one is in the dishwasher, but I do have two of them. But anyway, there's my record player with my Bleachers album out. Uh, really nice appliances, very, very nice, beautiful, giant kitchen. I have some Bacardi, which is disgusting, but I have it. This bottle of wine my dad got me for Christmas uh, from DC, which is really cool. These are the vitamins I take because I'm one of those people, like I will forget to take my vitamins. And so I really only remember if they are gummies. These are just straight up candy. I mean, they're not candy, they're vitamins, but they taste like candy. So I will eat them. Uh, here's my sink with dishes in them because, uh, this is clean and I just have not unloaded it yet. So this is just, you know, from yesterday or whatever, last two days or something. And then this is, you know, like my Island Peninsula thing. This is just some stuff that stays out. Obviously I'm using disinfectant every five seconds nowadays. So those just stay out. I don't know why these sunglasses are here, but they are. That's just, that's where they wanna be. Um, I got a new Bible a couple months ago, not because I needed a new Bible. I love the Bible that I have, my ESV study Bible, but I wanted to get a second one 
for a different translation. And then also this one has some different notes in it and stuff, the Maxwell Leadership Bible. Um, my purse, my phone. I have my nail polish out because I was gonna paint my nails. Have I done that yet? No, absolutely not. But soon, I will. Uh, I also <laughs> recently bought a Polly Pocket. This is not from my childhood. This is not from 25 years ago. This is literally, I got this very recently. And it's a Polly Pocket and there's like a hibachi grill. I don't know if it's focused. There's a hibachi grill and there she, there's all, oh man. Anyway, this is... <laughs> This is the time, guys, to find things that you enjoy. So I have a Polly Pocket there. Um, I have my makeup here. This is where I do my makeup. And so this is, you know, like my little Island Peninsula thing. If you guys remember from my old apartment, because all my furniture, everything is from my old apartment. I just moved it over here. And again, luckily I'm in the same exact apartment complex. And so I was able to move everything very, very easily. And I posted that video a few days ago of, of like me moving a little bit. I have these stools. I was gonna return them because I bought those and like those better, but then I never ended up returning these, which is fine because now I'm using these as my actual stools and I'm using these as little like side tables to my couch, mostly because these are like plushier and so these would not work as well as side tables and these are a little bit sturdier. So decided to use those as side tables. Uh, this is my couch, the most beautiful thing I own, most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And honestly, a lot of you guys know this, especially if you follow me on Instagram. Please follow me on Instagram if you don't. I do so many more like daily updates and stuff on there. But I generally sleep on my couch. <laughs> it's very comfortable, my TV's out here. I like falling asleep watching TV or YouTube or something. And so I, you know, a normal apartment tour, I feel like I would have put my pillows back in my room and did all that stuff. But I'm like, no, this is reality. This is what I do, guys. So I generally sleep on this couch, not all the time, but a lot of the times. So I have my pillows out here, biscuit and cornbread, always, loves of my life. And then I just have some stuff down here that I use all the time. So I'm currently reading Gone Girl, which is very good. And I have my makeup wipes, tissues, and my Bible over there, my remote. This is, this is where I am a lot of the time. If I'm not at my desk, I am generally over here. Um, and then my, my back door to this balcony and then these like huge windows, they're doors, but they don't open. So does that mean that they're a window? No, it just means they're a door that doesn't open. I don't know, that's a door. Those are just big window things. Anyway, <laughs> so then uh, I have my TV and my TV stand and some books and some records, my Mickey Mantle autographed baseball, which is like the coolest thing ever. My dad actually got that like hand signed because he met Mickey Mantle. And I have my tripod, my big tripod. I have a yoga mat, which I'm not gonna necessarily use for yoga, but for stretching and some like in-home exercises. So then we get into my very, 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 very unused bedroom. I've obviously slept in here a couple times, but I did not bother to remake this because A, I'm never in here, and uh, B, I'm, I'm never in here. <laughs> so I have my lamp, I have my memory foam bed uh, with my weighted blanket, which I love, and my bike, my electric bike, which is so cool and so much fun. And it's just like easy to have it here because it's easy to bring it out and then like bring it out the door. So, okay, now let's get into the bathroom. Hi. Okay, see my pigtails again. So this is generally what my bathroom vanity looks like. Sometimes it's more cluttered, sometimes it has nothing on it, but generally it's about this-ish. I generally have some jewelry sitting here. Obviously like my tissues and my mouthwash, my soap, my toothbrush are all gonna be out here basically all the time. But then over here, like I just put my hair in my pigtails. So this, which is little nude sticks, like all nude sticks products, or maybe not all, but most at least come in these little tins and they're so good to like reuse. Can't open it with one hand, there we go. So I have a lot of like my hair ties and stuff in here. If you can see, I know the lighting's a little, a little like dark in there, but so I have that, I have some of my clips that I use when I take a shower and I don't wash my hair. I use this dry shampoo today, Living Proof, my deodorant, um, some of my skincare is out. A lot of my stuff's away, but I also like keeping some stuff out if I use it all the time. So that stuff's out. And then like I have some drawers and stuff. So this bathroom is like size wise a little bit bigger than my other one in my studio, but this vanity is smaller, which is interesting. But they had to do that because, can you guys tell that there's two doors? I'll get to that in a second. But anyway, so here's my bathroom. This is pretty tidy. Um, my shower is pretty tidy. 
all the products that I use, which I show all the time, but that's a yeah, real quick shot of like most of the products that I use. But also like this is just how my towels look most of the time. Like sometimes I will fold them, you know, like so they look a little bit more proper, but a lot of times I don't, I just throw them up there. So that's that. So again, okay, shower. And then do you guys see this door? Open. This is to my bedroom. So this is one of these things where like, if you want some exercise, you can just run around. <laughs> so it's like almost like a master suite kind of. It's, it's an interesting layout. It is super interesting. Um, but since I never really use my bedroom, again, I've obviously slept in this bed sometimes, but I generally sleep on my couch um, at least the last like week or two. But anyway, so that door is there. And then there's this last door over here, which is my closet. Are you guys ready for how big this closet is? Look at this. This is the size of a bedroom. I don't know if you can tell like perception wise, but anyway, obviously a lot of this is storage. But then also here's all my clothes and I feel like I spread them out just to seem like, I don't know, because I can, because I have all this space. Look at all this unused space. It's, this closet is huge. But anyway, so those are like my pajamas. Here's some of my more like, like basic-y t-shirts that like I might wear to bed. And then those are all like my fancier t-shirts. Here's some tank tops. This is going to bother me that that's like up for some reason. Uh, these are a couple long sleeve shirts, my jeans that fit me, my shorts that fit me, underwear and bras, and then all my jeans and pants that don't fit me anymore because someone gained like 10 or 15 pounds in the last six months. And so now some of her clothes don't fit. Um, so I did buy a couple pairs of jeans that fit me because wearing clothes that don't fit you, even if you're not overweight, but maybe you just gained a few pounds, Wearing clothes that don't fit is going to make you feel worse. So I bought a couple jeans that fit me and then I put all the rest over here that are a little bit too tight because since I just gained like 10 or 15 pounds in the last six months, I might be able to lose it semi quickly. So I didn't want to get rid of all of those clothes, but they're just in that corner for now while they don't fit. So like these are all the pants that don't fit because obviously I guess I gained weight where uh, my pants are. <laughs> and then a couple shirts that are like the tiniest bit too tight, but I'm going to save them because Hopefully I will fit back into them soon. We'll see, who knows. But for now, I still have all of these things that fit. My shoes down there, my laundry. I still have the, uh, the box for my bike because it, just in case I wanna ship it or something, just in case it doesn't fit in my car when I move or when I leave or whatever, um, I might ship it. So I have that. I have the box for my TV. I finally took my mirror out of the box. <laughs> that was in the box the whole time I was living in my other apartment. So I finally took that out. And then my suitcase. And that box is filled with stuff that I'm selling soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then just... I'm returning those things and then those are just some storage boxes and then my purses are over there. But this closet is huge. It's humongous. It's humongous. But that is basically it guys. This is my apartment. So, okay, I'll talk to you guys with my face. Okay, so, so my last apartment was a studio and it was about, I think it was 582 square feet, I think. And this new place is like 750 and it's obviously a one bedroom. And so it's much bigger. I think most of the added space is in that closet and in this living room. Like look how much space is in this living room. I could easily have much more furniture um, and like a coffee table and stuff, but since I'm only gonna be here for a couple months and I don't need the extra stuff, I'm not going to buy anything extra. Even though this apartment's bigger, I don't need anything else. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my new place in a realistic way. <laughs> It's really beautiful and I'm so grateful that I'm living here. If you have not seen that video where I explain why I moved, uh, please go watch it. It was a couple videos ago, but it'll answer all your questions. But I'm very, very grateful to have a beautiful place to stay for the next few months. And I'm gonna be doing obviously a ton of videos inside my apartment. So please let me know any ideas that you have, any suggestions you have, anything that you wanna see while we're all inside. I really, really wanna know what you guys wanna see but I guess that's gonna be it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later, bye.